Hi, my name is Grace. I'm a woman, gender, and sexuality student at Portland State, and I'm here to tell you a story about gender. Um, I identify as female and use she, her pronouns, and um, but I still uh, present pretty masculine. I identify as butch. Um, and in Portland, you know, we've got this very progressive community, and I think that a lot of times when people see me, they see a masculine person. And so uh, I don't know if maybe it's people trying to like make a safe assumption or if maybe people really are just confused. Um, but I get um, attached to a lot of male pronouns um, or people get confused by my name. Uh, if I have to really enunciate the name Grace. I really have to say the GR really well because uh, people will hear Chris and then they'll give me male pronouns. And um, and that's not how I identify. And so I think that, um, like so there've been times where I have like been waiting for food and people are like, Oh, can I get a name for your order? And, um, this happened recently at some food carts down the street. And I was like, uh, yeah, my name's great. Yeah. My name is Grace. And I tried pretty hard to enunciate, but, uh, it didn't come across. And so, um, my food's ready and I hear, you know, Chris, Chris, and th that's not me. Like that's not my name. That's not what I'm going for. And so, I'm not thinking that it's me and they say Chris like six times and then the guy standing next to me is like hey man that's you and he like elbows me and so you know I am now man and Chris and that's not me that's not how I identify and so I think that this has a lot to say with um has it speaks to uh what our society says with gender is that we don't want to ask a lot of questions and that we have to gender something because honestly I'm I would love for someone to just say like, hey, how do you identify or what are your preferred pronouns? Because I'm only asked that when I'm in a, a gender and sexualities classroom. And I don't take offense to that. And I know a lot of other people who don't. And I think that that is an open invitation for people to just ask. Like, I don't think it's that hard to do. And I think that's kind and respectful. And beyond that, we don't have to gender everything, you know? Like, you don't have, you don't have to call me man. You don't have to call me guy. You don't have to even say he or she, you know? If you're not sure, like, you could just use they. That's perfectly appropriate. And if I really take offense to that, or if someone does, then I'm sure they'll take the time to correct you. But I think that we need to ask more questions and be more comfortable and be more able to deviate from the norm and from this binary system because uh, often we're just telling people by like, oh, you thought my name was Chris, so I must be a he. That's just furthering the binary system. Oh, this person dresses masculine, so they must be a man. You know, like there's lots of people who identify as non-binary or genderqueer or somewhere in the middle. And, um, and just because I present masculine doesn't mean I am masculine. So um, I am giving my permission to have this video posted online as a part of the Gender Stories Project. Thank you.